Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Call of Pripyat, Part 3. My name is Tom, and I've just returned from a stash hunt here in Saturn with all this um, nice loot, and before I stash off all these items, I'm just going to make sure that I've emptied all the guns of their ammunition. Ammunition is still sort of scarce, at least in the beginning of the game, and I don't really want to waste money buying ammunition, so emptying all the guns is a good way to get some extra ammo. Um, also, the ammo in guns don't actually make the guns sell for more money, so taking out the ammunition before you sell, uh, sell weapons is usually a good idea. And uh, before I head off, I just want to stash off uh, all the items that I don't really need such as these. I'm gonna bring my shotgun for this next mission, um, but leave my AK behind, at least for the moment. Um, it's also nice to see that the mod, the complete mod, actually implements knives. Um, there doesn't seem to be any use for knives, but I guess from a more role-playing standpoint it makes sense to have these knives in here. Um, because you have a knife yourself, so why wouldn't other stalkers uh, be carrying knives as well? Kind of like how you are actually now able to loot money off corpses. Um, so I guess that's a nice touch, but um, I don't need them. Um, they don't actually weigh anything, but I'm just gonna stash them away anyways. So in this episode, oh, actually before we get on oh, with it, up. I'm just gonna head into Tremor, who's the medic, and have him heal me up and Goodbye. Uh, take care of my radiation poisoning. So we're gonna head over to this guy, Grouse, who's back in the day apparently um, was some kind of a police officer or police detective. And right now he's trying to deal with some missing stalkers. Um, they've actually found some of these stalkers uh, bled completely dry but without any signs of violence and their current uh, theory is that bloodsuckers are involved I guess which kinda makes sense since they were bled completely dry but I'm not sure about the no signs of violence because getting attacked by a bloodsucker isn't a gentle affair uh, at least from my experience so, apparently his buddy, this Danila guy, tried to track down the bloodsucker's lair. Um, but he's sort of gone missing as well, so... I'll agree to help him out, this grouse fella, and see if I can track down Danila. Hello. Hello. So, let's head outside and... I think we're going in this direction. Yeah, down here. The missing hunter, that's Danilla. Track down some blood suckers. Hmm, okay. Stalkers enjoying the fine weather. Let's head up here. And, well, I brought my, as you can see, and as I hinted, I brought only my shotgun because I want to tra travel fairly lightly because I'm going to be picking up a decent amount of loot and a first stop is this huge rock here which has this gap here 
and if you do a low crouch you can squeeze in and there's actually some decent supplies in here including a SIG P220 pistol. Nice. Let's head back out and get on with our mission. Pretty certain this isn't Danilla. I think I found the lair. Get over here, ASAP. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what's happened to Danilla though. That was a bloodsucker, so I guess that we're on the right track here. Just gonna do a quick save. I saw a bloodsucker enter the building. I'm guessing that's their lair, but let's put that theory to the test. Watch the shadows. They could appear from anywhere. Okay. Yeah, let's head into the bloodsucker lair. What could possibly go wrong? Did you hear that? Uh-huh. Never mind. I must be hearing things. I don't think... You're hearing things. I heard things too. There's something there. Yep. Cover me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yikes. I think I'm just quickly gonna grab a bite. Get some health back. Oh my my armor isn't doing too well. But um no time to worry about that now. Um Oh sh the only way of getting in the basement. Okay, I'm bleeding. Right, so... Grouse is gonna open the elevator shaft and head down. But before I join him, I just... Well, jumping down is the only way. <laughs> Love your enthus enthusiasm, Grouse. Just, hey, yeah, let's... Head into the bloodsucker lair. Let's jump down, you know. What could possibly go wrong with that? Anyways, I believe that there are some items up here. Some army med kits. And some batteries. Come on. There we go. And there's a restroom over here with some vodka, I think. Some drugs. You know, and vodka. And in here, there's some ammo up here. I'll just quickly grab that. Right, so let's head back down. And behind this pipe right here, there's some more ammunition, which is definitely going to be useful. I think that's it. So, we can head down to Grouse now. Your footsie's still intact? Let's check out this basement, then. There's a dead stalker.
I'll go right here. With a sh shotgun and an improved detector. Strange. So more dead guys. The bodies we found before didn't have those. The hunter isn't here. Let's go. And he's gonna pick the lock. Um, quickly while he does that, there's a stash over here, and... I'm not sure if it's actually a stash, but there are some items, but there... include some grenades, and I'm not sure if they actually... made some changes in this mod, because... I think the only way to get out the items is by shooting them. But as you can probably imagine, shooting some grenades with a shotgun might not be the best of ideas, so... I just made a quick save, and... Alright. Seem Seems safe enough. Hey, even the vodka bottle survived. Hmm. Nice. Please hold your applause. Now let's take a look inside. sleeping bloodsuckers. Let's try to get by them without making any <laughs> noise. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Alright, just gonna... sneak by these bloodsuckers. Jesus, oh my god. I think they're like... Nine or ten bloodsuckers in here. I suppose there's loads of fun to be had with this particular room if you're up for some fun, you know, some grenades or whatever, and you could have yourself a blast. And probably get killed in the process. Ooh, we made it. It didn't even disturb their nap time. Yep, that was certainly a lot of fun. Oh, some more stuff. Oh, more stuff. This looks like an exit. <laughs> jump! Okay. I'll jump over here and pick up these Hercules drugs. Oh. Slight hiccup. Okay, so he's going in that direction. I'm just gonna head down here because I believe there are some items. Then we'll head back to Grouse and see what he has to say. Okay, I'm carrying a lot of stuff now, yeah. No wonder my energy is depleting fast. We didn't find the hunter, but I have an idea where he might be. Let me check it out and I'll contact you. While I do that, let the stalkers know about these blood-sucking assholes. Something needs to be done about them. Right. <laughs> Alright, Godspeed. Grouse. Hope to see you soon. So anyways, um, we've paid a visit to the Krug Antenna Complex and through the underground tunnel we've ended up here at a swamp area where one of the hel uh, helicopters has crashed. And it's quite an interesting place as you can probably see, kind of like water defying the laws of physics almost. Um, highly anomalous area I'd say. But um, we're gonna check this out but for now this is gonna be the end of episode 3 and well in episode 4 we'll be uh, checking out this area and perhaps um, Grouse will get back to us about the uh, whole Bloodsucker affair. But um, I'll see you all in part 4.